Yes, Monday morning, 21st of March, Caleb Ministries. And I want to dedicate tonight's reading and teaching to a good friend of mine who recently lost his wife. He was diagnosed with cancer, recovered, cancer is back. I do not want to mention names. He knows who I am talking about. Now, if you can recall, yesterday God said in Exodus 3, verse 5, do not come near, do not come closer. But now tonight, Exodus 3, verse 12, he says, I will be with you. Please remember this. I will be with you. Now, God gave a God-sized assignment to Moses, a human being. If he had given a human-sized assignment, Moses wouldn't have needed God to go with him. But with the monumental task of delivering Israel from Egypt, Moses was suddenly thrust into a desperate situation. Does it sound familiar for you? Yes, exactly kind that sends us begging for God's presence. From the point of view of a God who desires relationship, this is a perfect setup. Read James 1, those first five verses or so, and, and you will see so many things in your life that happens. It's a setup of God because he wants you closer to him. God performs perfect setup in our lives too. He puts us in situations that are destined to fail or blow up in our faces unless he intervenes. He calls us to accomplish things that no human being can accomplish without heavy doses of divine assistance. He provokes desperation. Why? So we can call out to him and he can assure us that he is with us. In the process, we grow closer to him and he strengthens our ability to lean on him. You remember Paul says, Lord, take away this thorn in my flesh. And he prayed God three times. And what was the answer? My grace is enough for you. Uh -huh. He strengthens our ability to lean on him. The good news is that God gives us the same promise he gave Moses. I will be with you. Remember there by the burning bush? Moses said, and who shall I tell the people are you? The answer was, I am. I am that I am. I am not I may be or I that or I this or the other. I am. Like Jesus said, Lazarus, come he forth. Well, that doesn't answer our question of how he will assist us. Moses' question about the process of delivering Israel remained unanswered. But it does assure us that we will have all we need to do what he calls us to do. Remember now this. I have a dear sister and a brother-in-law, and they work so hard there where they work with this private Christian school. And as I see, all the way, God gives them all that they need. Oh, wow. We'll have him, and we can trust that he is enough. Hear his promise to you. I will be with you. I will, in every situation, be with you. You just need to be patient. Sometimes you just need to be still. Sometimes you need to pray. Sometimes you just need to return to me. But I am with you. Your trials are not designed to discourage or defeat you. They are designed to provoke a cry in your heart for me. I fully intend to be with you and give you everything you need to move forward. My presence makes all the difference in every situation circumstance of your face. I pray, Lord, I'm not ashamed to confess my desperate need to you. I simply cannot do 
what you've called me to do in life without your intervention. Please show me what it means in practical terms for you to be with me in my circumstances. I pray you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, Monday morning, 21st.